Hi everybody, welcome to a new video from Sound for More. Today I'm going to go through a tutorial on how to use Snake Bud, um, a new AUV3 MIDI sequencer I just released from the same developer of Code Bud 2, Step Bud, and R Bud 2, and more. So we are inside the AUM, so let's start creating a MIDI channel and also an audio channel. Let's uh, search for SnakeBud. Here we are, let's load it as a MIDI processor. And then let's choose something like SimMaster 1 as a, a synth to connect to SnakeBud. Okay, we establish the connection. Now let's choose a preset for uh, uh, synth master one so let's uh, clear the search and let's choose something let's search for something like piano and then uh, let's choose this lush fm piano okay so let's open snake bud as you can see very straightforward interface you have uh, 16 steps organized in a matrix of four by four. And these uh, at the moment represent the notes which are being played. So in this case, you see C3, 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 etc. The reason you see notes at the moment is because you're on the top left um, side of the screen, you have a selection of note, note under mode. So this is the note mode where you can change the different notes. So you can click on a dial and change the note that is being played for each of the different steps. So let's try it. As you can see, it follows a specific pattern in terms of playing the steps. And you can change the pattern here where it says sequences. So for example, let's go for number two and let's play again. So this is the probably the more uh, natural one starting from the first step and then moving down. But you can have a lot of different sequences. So I recommend that you try each one of them is great fun. And some of them have that classical resemble of a snake effect. more of a snake effect or, pat or pattern in terms of playing the different steps. So as I was mentioning, we are in note mode. We can go also to step mode. In step mode, we can decide to disable some of the steps. So they will not be played. They will be simply skipped. Which is great if you want to create more of a rhythm. We can also decide to change the gate. So open or close the gate, which will give you that staccato uh, effect. Right. As well, we can change the velocity for some of the notes on each individual steps. And finally, you can also set the probability in percentage. So the probability of some notes being played at those specific steps where you're changing the probability. when the probability was very low, uh, these two particular steps were not played. As soon as I increased it to 69%, the step was actually played. So you can set in this way a pattern as you like manually, going through the different modes from step, note, gate, velocity, and probability. Or you can also use a randomize function, which is really nice. So you can, and in this case, you can say, randomize only the notes, like so or randomize the snake pattern, which you see here, you see the sequence changing. See, change to nine. Or you can say, randomize the gates, or randomize the velocity. 
And finally, you can randomize the probability as well. If that is not enough, you can randomize all of the above, which creates some unique patterns. Of course, you can randomize as well why it's being played. Additionally, you have rates here. So if you want to increase the rate, ju just act on the plus and minus sign. And you can do that in real time as well. The other thing as well, you can um, go on settings here and decide, for example, to change the scale. So, for example, let's choose something like a uh, Neapolitan minor. Okay. And if you scroll below, you see also the key and also the minimal and maximum octave. So let's say I want to go maximum up to the fourth octave. So let's click done. Let's click randomize all and let's click play. Of course, as in other applications uh, from the same developer, you can create different patterns which can be changed using CC10. So in this case, we can say, click, click on the plus sign, create a pattern number two. We can also click back on pattern number one, click and hold to select delete or copy. Let's copy that. And then we go back to pattern number two, click and hold, and we can paste this. And then we can make some minor alteration, for example, uh, more on the notes. So to hear that it is uh, different. And then you can switch between one to the other pattern manually or using CC in this case, CC number 10. And to make it more apparent, let's go to pattern number two and increase the speed so you will hear uh, the difference. Okay, other things you can do through the settings. You can change the uh, number of CCs, in this case it's 10, but uh, you can change that. So you can change the control change that uh, you are, uh, that um, Snakebot is using, the same on the MIDI channel as well. And finally, underneath here, you can choose also the style of controlling the different knobs. I prefer vertical, but I, you choose the one you prefer, whether it's horizontal or more a rotary effect or horizontal vertical, so up to your preference. So really, really cool application. So. In this case, we just used a piano preset. Let's duplicate, for example, uh, the MIDI channel quickly and also the audio channel as well. And then let's connect the second audio channel to the second Snake Bud 2 session. Let's choose uh, for that second uh, um, audio channel something like, um, for example, let's go on plug again and let's choose uh, a base, like so. Let's go to the second instance of snake pad. Uh, let's decrease the rate, because uh, I want uh, a slower um, base, and also let's decrease the octave, like so, two to three, click done. Let's click randomize all, and let's click play. So you can have great fun with this tool. And of course, you could add, for example, hi-hats and randomize the plane of those hi-hats, which uh, is even, even cooler. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial and see you next time. Bye.